Hey everybody, Day really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Chapter 5, The Best Plaything, which I think is me. And hopefully there are no other playthings involved here. And if there are, let's hope we can make him drop them. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Huh. <sighs> I took my eyes off the fashion magazine I had been reading and let out a sigh. Kay was at an interview for a magazine, so I was stuck at home. Apparently he had a stylist already, and I wasn't needed there. But it may have just been a front for Kay to go off playing with some girl. I had no way of knowing for sure. When he left me all alone like this, those kind of thoughts ran rampant in my head. It would have only gotten worse had my phone not rang. Hello? Hey, it's me. Can you talk? Yeah, go ahead. Actually, one of our stylists had something come up. If you're free, would you mind coming to take our place? Not at all. I'm off today, so that works out. Which studio is it at? Going to work would help get my mind off Kay, and I wouldn't have to sit at home worrying all day. Well, not if you actually end up working for Kay or... <gasps> what if I work for So and they're filming together? Awesome. I owe you. It's that one studio over by. After getting directions, I left immediately for work. Hello, I'm coming in. I knocked on the waiting room door and swung it open. Wait, you? Yes, me! Hello, so you're just the perfect person to help me get my mind off K. Uh, sort of. I mean, you kind of remind me of him because you're twins. It turned out that I replaced the stylist for so that day. Uh, I thought you were a K stylist. What are you doing here? The stylist that was supposed to be here couldn't make it. I just stepped in to take her place. Hopefully this doesn't inconvenience you in any way. I tried to be as kind and courteous as possible. Whatever. But So just turned to the mirror and ignored my good nature. I heard you were doing an interview for a women's magazine today. Are you being prejudiced against me because I'm a submissive? If that's the case, I think we should put you in something a little sexy. I pulled a handful of clothes out of the bag that I thought would work well on him. He doesn't seem like the sexy type to me. It blew me away how much of Kay's face I saw in Seoul. They were twins, so it was common sense, but it really surprised me when I saw his face close up. I found myself staring at him far too long, especially considering I was here for work. What's wrong? You're so pretty. Uh, nothing. I think this color will work on you. Okay, I'll change into it. So I grabbed the clothes out of my hand and went to change. One hour later, So returned from his interview. Welcome back. How did it go? I got so many compliments on the outfit. Really? Yeah, thanks. You don't have to thank me. So spoke words that I would never hear from Kay's mouth. Just hearing that made my pulse quicken and my cheeks glow toasty. Something the matter? No, it's nothing. Do you want to change? I'll brush off your clothes. Alright. While cleaning his clothes off, I posed a question as nonchalantly as possible. How's the shooting going? You know, the drama with Kay. Same as always. Or rather, Kay is acting worse than usual now. Really? Unfortunately, yes. You didn't notice? Some stylist you are. Hey, I don't need that from you. Well, I... I hesitated, unsure how to respond. I know he's changed a bit recently. It's just, lately I haven't been going with him anywhere. Maybe he found another stylist he likes better than me. I put on my best smile, but my emotions peeked through. I told you he was that kind of guy from the start. I know, I knew that from the start, but... My words faded in the silence. But what? What was it I wanted to say? But I never expected to be abandoned so quickly? So turned towards me, his eyes staring through me as if finding the answer on his own. Hey. Yes? If it bothers you that much, why don't you come to the drama shoot? But Kay never told me the schedule for it. It's one thing if he needs me there, but if I showed up randomly, that's just... Then what if I invite you there? Then he'll probably get mad at both of us. What? Was it okay for me to do that? Can I ask you something first? What? Why do you want me to go? So cast a gentle glance toward me for a moment. His eyes averted, unable to hold that gaze. Probably to make you give up on him. So you mean... 
Would I see the other girl Kay was bringing places if I went to the drama shoot? From the very start, So had been trying to tell me not to be Kay's personal stylist. Is that why So wanted me to go? So I could finally give up on him? It's up to you whether you come or not. Give me your number. I'll send you the schedule if you decide to show up. Okay. So and I exchanged numbers. After work, I didn't go straight home, fearing I would just think terrible things again. Instead, I went into town to walk around and take my mind off things. Though in the end, my mind kept wandering back to Sol and Kay. Sol had been trying to convince me to leave Kay time and time again. Still, I never would have imagined Kay would try to get rid of me so quickly. If I had to let myself go from him, doing it sooner rather than later would have been smart. Otherwise, the more I felt for him and the more memories we had, the harder it would be for me to repair my heart after he betrayed me. Maybe I was lucky to find out this soon. If this had never happened, I might have grown feelings for him and been devastated. Uh, haven't you already, kinda? Come here. I'll be nice and gentle all night long. I'll make you feel so good. You won't be able to live without me. Kay never had any problems teasing and mistreating me. No matter what I did or said, he always got things his way. So, why was it? Why, after all that he did to me, could I not hate him for it? That night, as I thought about all these things, I received a phone call. Hello? It's so. Have you decided if you're coming to the shoot? Yeah. It had been occupying my mind the entire day. I want to come. I want to see it with my own eyes. So I can finally give up on him, once and for all. The next day, I went to the drama studio as planned. Over in the corner, I spotted Sol. Good morning, Sol. Good morning. You actually came. Yeah, I won't be able to give up on him otherwise. As I thought about it logically, there really was no reason for me to come here. I should have given up a long time ago, but I had already been sucked in by his charm. It would take seeing her with my own eyes to wake me out of this silly fantasy. So, where is Kay at? He isn't here yet. He always shows up at the last minute. Does he have a dressing room I can catch him in? Oh. For some reason, I was thankful that there was some time until the impending disaster. Just then. Hmm? Really? I didn't know you were coming today. Good morning, Akira. You're here for Kay, right? Doesn't look like he's here yet. Not Kay. She's with me today. Really? Yeah, I'm having her help me. Wow, everyone wants a piece of you. You too, Akira? Maybe I'll ask for you too. It sure would be nice having a slick outfit once in a while. I'd be honored to work with you sometime. And then... Good morning. Kay showed up mumbling a groggy morning greeting. I turned toward him hesitantly. That's when I saw her. Good morning. Let's see if we can cheer you up today. A spunky girl wearing a flashy outfit pressed up to him. Ugh. The moment I saw her, the stabbing pain pierced right through my heart. Who's that? His new hairstylist. Does it even surprise you we got a new one already? I mean, good for him, but I wish he didn't flaunt all those girls with me around. Ugh. So what Akira had told me the other day had been true after all. He had been spending all that time with other girls. Huh? Kay finally noticed I was staring at him. Really? What are you doing here? Ugh. I felt so awkward that I had to look away. So stepped in front of me as if protecting me from Kay's dirty glance. I called her here. She's working with me today. You did. He glared behind Sol and cursed me with a rotten gaze. Is that true? I thought about how to answer. Dot dot dot. Not wanting to lie, I stared blankly at him, continuing the silence. Is that true? Are you sure you didn't come here to check up on me? N no, I wouldn't do that. You don't have to hide it. I don't care. Just then... Hey, Kay, who's that? You're awfully friendly with her. Is she a girl on the staff? The woman spoke up with a clearly irritated voice. Yeah, she's supposed to be my personal stylist, actually. Oh, for clothes? Yes, I'm Darilli. So called me in to work with him today. I tried to introduce myself nicely, but the woman snapped back at me. I thought this drama has their own stylist. I can't say I see any reason why you have to be here. 
Her response seemed reasonable enough, but the way she said it sounded nasty. It was like I had marched into her territory and she was fighting back. Well, I... For a moment, I wasn't sure what to say. She got curious and came to check up on me. What? Really? Her eyes flared with anger and distrust. Seeing such a huge reaction out of her clearly meant she had feelings for him. Alright, I'd like to start filming soon. First scene is going to be Kay and Sol talking to each other. We need to talk about how the scene is going to progress, so I need the two of you over here. Alright. Sure. The two men walked off to join the director for discussions. So, your name is Dorilly, right? The woman approached me with a smile, so I wasn't sure what to think. Yeah. Did she think of me as a rival or something else? So, about what you were saying earlier. You're his personal stylist. Have you been doing it for very long? No, not really. Oh? Her pretty eyes stared into mine, as if trying to read my mind. She glanced around to make sure no one was listening, and leaned in to whisper, Kay is just so bad. I don't know what to do sometimes. When I'm in the dressing room, or when we go out to drink and I use the restroom, he always pulls me off in a corner that no one else can see, and... Uh, hearing those words out of her felt like someone had punched me in the stomach. Just like I had suspected, this woman was in some sort of relationship with Kay. The blood drained out of my face, and my body started shaking uncontrollably. Had Kay done the same to this woman as he had done to me? Did it stop at kissing, or had they done more? His arms that once held me were now wrapped around another woman. It made me sick to my stomach, and I couldn't take it anymore. Be right back. I'm going to get something to drink. I turned from her and left, practically running out of the studio. As soon as I left its doors, ugh, the tears I had been holding in came gushing out. I should have known better. Kay was that kind of person all along, so I should have expected this to happen. How had I been so foolish to let him play with my heart until now? I wept, hiding my face in my palms to keep my wails from being heard. And then, to really, I knew it would be so. So came running over to me, panting and out of breath. So, what are you doing here? I heard from the staff that you ran out here. His eyes looked at me with pity as tears streamed down my cheeks. I'm sorry, this was my fault. No, it's not. You had nothing to do with it. I knew there was someone else. I just knew it. But seeing it was too much of a shock for you. <sighs> this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't invited you here. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I knew I would have to forget about him eventually. It was just a matter of time. It's not your fault. You should go home. You can't come back to the studio. Not like this. Okay. Thank you, so. I thanked him and went straight home and to my room. The shock alone was bad enough, but now I felt incredibly lonely. With all that happened today, I had no reason to hold on to him anymore. It was time to tell him goodbye, now while my feelings for him were shattered. I stared at my phone and made up my mind. I'll call him. He might not see a message if I left one, so I decided to call instead. I had to try over and over to reach him by phone, but eventually picked up. Hello? Kay, there's something we need to talk about. Yeah, you can do it over the phone, can't you? I need to speak with you in person, please. After a moment of silence, Kay finally spoke up. Fine, I'll stop by after I get done with work. Okay, I'll be waiting. All I had to do now was wait for him to come. What was I going to say? When he finally arrived, what was I supposed to tell him? Later that night, Sorry I took so long. So, you wanted to talk about something? I have a pretty good idea what it is, though. Kay didn't seem like he was sorry at all for what happened earlier. Was he really so little to him that he had moved on so easily? Maybe that was for the best, though. I want you to stay away from me. That woman earlier, she's the one you've been chasing lately, right? You don't need me anymore, then. If you want it, why don't you ask her? I told him my deepest thoughts with a trembling voice. Kay looked at me indifferently, as if none of this mattered to him. What's your problem? You knew I was this kind of person from the very beginning. And yet, you're acting all jealous? I... Of course I am! 
We weren't official lovers, but we had done plenty of things that made us much the same. Finding out he was doing these things with someone else would make anyone jealous. Instead of showing compassion, his eyes glared down at me full of arrogance. Oh, you are? Are you that much in love with me that it pisses you off seeing me with someone else? Enough! I don't want to talk about it, just stay out of my life! You don't need me anymore, you have her! At that very moment, Kay grappled my shoulders and shoved me into the bed. Gah! I struggled and pushed him with all my might, but the result was no different than always, and his lips found mine. <clears throat> he peeled my lips apart with his tongue, filling my mouth with warmth. Tears swelled up in my eyes as he forced himself on top me. In a deep, crackling voice, Kay finally spoke. You're my toy. I'll do what I want to you. <sighs> Even after all this, he still treated me like his little toy. It made me feel so sad and empty. You... What? Got something to say? Everything is just a game to you. This, your work, you can't take anything seriously. Your job is falling apart and you know it. And look at you, all you're doing is screwing around. Kay's eyes snapped wide open when he heard me. The surprise on his face pulled away, leaving only a sinister smile. Oh, what a big mouth for such a tiny girl. His voice rumbled and creaked with bitterness. And then... Stop! What are you doing? Taking it out on me? Stay still. I'm going to shut that pretty mouth of yours once and for all. Uh, well, you can't once and for all unless you're actually sewing my lips shut. He grabbed some packing rope off the dresser and wrapped it around my hands. Threading it through the curtain rod, he pulled me up so hard I was barely touching the floor. Ugh! My arms were raised so high I could barely even move. That's a good girl. Maybe I should have a go at you, hmm? His sadistic smile glared at me as he grabbed my chin and turned it toward him. Unable to resist, he forced me to look straight at him. No, stop! Let me go! I think you're forgetting something. You'll have to apologize for saying all that before I let you go. <sighs> Fine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please let me go. But Kay just smiled at me. We've done it so many times together, and yet you don't know me at all. You don't just think I can stop now, do you? Having you all like this. N no stop! This all shouldn't have happened. I was supposed to break free from Kay and leave him, yet it came to this. I bet you imagined me sleeping with her, is that right? Uh, Kay sneered into my ear while stroking his hands down my body. N no The image of her and Kay together crossed my mind. It made my stomach churn with jealousy and anger. As much as I didn't want to see it, the vision just wouldn't leave my head. Makes you jealous, doesn't it? The thought of me doing it with some other girl makes you mad, hmm? Stop it! I squirmed and struggled, trying to escape his hands and words from violating me. Go on, say it. Say you don't want me to play around with anyone else but you. N no Being tied up like this was already shameful enough. I couldn't say it. Not to someone I no longer wanted to be a part of. Say it. As if to force the answer out of me, he held my back and shook me. What was I supposed to do? Say it. Let's get this over with. I... Hmm. I don't want to see you with anyone else. Please. As soon as I answered, he grabbed my jaw and pressed his lips hard onto mine. Oh, I can't believe you. Such a greedy toy. But after making you beg like this, maybe you do deserve a little something. Say it. Come on. Say that you love me. The longer he tormented my body, the more my mind started swimming. Mm. <sighs> Say it. I knew if I said it, it would be too hard to break free of him. I thought of all the grief I could so easily avoid by just telling him no. I... I love you, Kay. He had tortured my body to the point where those words spilled out of me. Good. That's right. I knew you were my favorite toy. Yeah, so I'm wondering if he really is fooling around with that girl or not. Because most of the time when you get into these things in these games, it's usually a misunderstanding, but I wouldn't really put it past him to really be fooling around with somebody else. Hopefully we'll see soon and that part of the story won't drag out. So hope to see you in that next episode. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, 
and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.